hi fam welcome back to another video so today this video is going to be about time saving and energy saving if you're someone that cooks a lot especially if you are cooking dishes that has to do have to do with meat it takes time for the meat to get soft and tender and at times we just want to do things fast but at the same time achieve a delicious meal for the family so this is how i do prep my meat so that throughout the week or even a month whenever i have to use meat i always have cooked meat waiting for me in the freezer or in the fridge and it's gonna speed up everything i'm gonna go ahead and steam fry this meat as a meal prep when it's cooled down i'm going to portion it and have it go into the fridge or freezer so whenever i am um, cooking meats, any dish that has to do with meat, then I just have meat already prepared to go, which is going to cut down on my cooking time and just save energy and everything. So I'm going to slice one and a half onions for seasoning purposes. So guys, if this video helps you out, kindly give it a like and share to someone and subscribe if you haven't already so you get notified whenever i upload and i went to the garden and get some herbs rosemary bay leaves thyme oregano and basil to marinate or to season and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut the meat to desired sizes So the meat is all um, chopped or sliced into desired size and here I have my pressure cooker to make things fast. I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil into it because I love to use the steam frying method even though I'm using a, a pressure cooker. I just feel like it cooks faster and it tastes better. Not a lot of oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pot. And once it is hot, the onions are gonna go in first to develop flavors. So the oil is super hot. In goes the onions. The onions are in, I go ahead and add them. Bring a flavor, like the flavor goes on another level. So, before I add the rest of the meat, I'm going to layer the seasoning. So, I'm going to add it one teaspoon to some salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the meat. Okay, so all the meat is in now. It's in goes the second um, seasoning. And then just put the lid on no need to add any water the meat is going to produce its own broth which is amazing all right sealed and i'm gonna be checking on it in an hour time leaving that to boil on a medium heat i'm gonna leave it at the eight
So the meat is all ready. Completely cooked, soft and tender to the bone <laughs> or to the touch. So now I'm gonna go ahead and portion three to five days. So these are going to go into the fridge and the rest I'm going to put in freezer bags, Ziploc bags, and they are going to go into the freezer. I'll be using these freezer bags that has um, Ziplocs. So once they're cooled down, I'm going to cover up and take them to the fridge. And once this is cooled down, I'm going to portion them into the Ziploc bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was kind of helpful. Take care and remain blessed. Bye-bye.